Hello dear students, this is the next part of our cell cycle that is cell cycle checkpoints. This is the seventh part of uh, cell cycle. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos, pre please watch previous videos part 1 to part 6 so that you will understand the whole process of cell cycle and mitosis, meiosis and how the uh, how which steps are actually involved in the cell cycle. Uh, in the previous video we have talked about the cell cycle regulation some important points I have uh, discussed in it and this is the last uh, last step or the last video uh, which is again regarding the cell cycle checkpoints cell cycle regulation that is cell cycle checkpoints now if uh, you want to watch the previous videos link is given in the description and also you can click on i button so that you will reach the videos okay now let's start with the checkpoints cell cycle checkpoints the first checkpoint is g1 checkpoint the g1 checkpoint is also called as restriction point this g1 checkpoint is actually present in between or it operates at the end of g1 phase uh, now what happens in the g1 phases there is a preparation of enzymes and preparation of proteins so that the dna replication can occur properly the necessary raw materials we can say which is essential for the dna replication those are prepared those are synthesized in the g1 phase so if all those things are ready and uh, properly uh, synthesized then the G1 uh, uh, gives green signal for the cell to proceed further so what uh, is the task of G1 checkpoint is G1 checkpoint checks whether the conditions are favorable for the cell to divide and it also checks the DNA for any damage before it is going for the cycle of DNA replication in the next phase so if everything is okay then the G1 checkpoint will give the signal and it will the cell cycle will proceed to the next phase that is synthesis phase that is DNA synthesis which is taking place in the S phase if DNA damage is detected checkpoint proteins will prevent the formation of active cyclin CDK complex now this CDK cycling, cycling and CDK means cycling dependent kinases, they join together and they form a complex and if in case the damage is detected, cycling CDK will not form complex and the further process will not occur. So there is an inhibition of cycling CDK complex formation and it stops the cell to progress progress further and opposite to that if everything is okay the DNA damage is not there or DNA synthesis uh, they uh, everything is ready for the synthesis of DNA then there will be the complex formation cycling and CDK complex formation will take place the cells are then direct the DNA repair mechanism if in case there is a uh, there is no synthesis taking place there is uh, no synthesis of uh, enzymes and uh, proteins necessary for the DNA replication then there will be there will be uh, DNA repa repair mechanisms and those mechanisms will occur as early as possible so that the uh, damage will be uh, rectified and if the environmental conditions are not good then the cell may enter into the G0 phase if everything is okay then the cell will proceed otherwise it will cell will enter into G0 phase now this is the second checkpoint that is G2 checkpoint G2 is the second checkpoint which operates at the end of G2 phase this is also called a G2M DNA damage checkpoint. 
G2 checkpoint checks the DNA for any damage that might be occurred during the DNA replication in the previous cell cycle phase that is S phase. Now we know G1 comes first then it is followed by S phase and then it is followed by G2 phase. So G1 phase uh, the checkpoint which is present at the G1 phase will allow the cell to proceed into the synthesis or S phase. In S phase there will be synthesis of DNA and further it will enter into the next phase that is G2 phase. Now this G2 checkpoint which is present here will check whether the DNA replication is uh, properly taken place or not it will check whether that DNA is correctly prepared or not. So here the G2 checkpoint again one more uh, role of this G2 checkpoint is it will ensure that the entire DNA has been replicated completely and apart from this G2 checkpoint also monitors the levels of proteins. It will also check the levels of proteins and growth factors that are needed in the next phase. So whatever is necessary for the M phase, mitotic phase that is uh, the microtubules and uh, some enzymes. Uh, so the raw material in short which is needed for the M mitotic phase will be checked by G2 checkpoint. If any factors are not satisfactory the G2 checkpoint holds the cell at G2 phase and initiate machineries to rectify the problems. So if the factors are not satisfactory means the if the enzymes are not ready if the microtubules are not uh, uh, properly prepared or the raw material is not ready in that case the G2 checkpoint will hold the cell at that point itself and uh, it will try to rectify all the problems. So this is the role of G2 checkpoint which is present between the G2 and S and G2 phase. Next is metaphase checkpoint which is a uh, sp spindle assembly checkpoint. Metaphase checkpoint is also called as spindle assembly checkpoint. It is the third and last cell cycle checkpoint in a cell cycle which operates at the M phase. Now this metaphase checkpoint is present at the M phase, mitotic phase which is the last checkpoint and here see let's see what is the role of this metaphase checkpoint. The metaphase checkpoint senses the integrity of spindle apparatus in a cell. So the events which are occurring in the metaphase is the formation of spindle fibers. So if the spindle formation is taking place properly and those spindle fibers if they are attached to the micro uh, our uh, uh, chromatids and the centromere of the chromatids uh, then uh, so all these things are checked by the metaphase checkpoint. So here it will correct the orientation of chromosomes in the metaphase plate of a cell and it is very essential for the proper segregation of chromosomes. So for the segregation of chromosomes it is essential to check that the chromo the um, spindle formation is taking spindle formation spindle apparatus which is formed here is proper or not and if the segregation will not take pr uh, properly then there will be problem in the genes of that particular organisms and therefore it is very necessary to check whether everything is correct in the spindle formation and the chromatids uh, attachment of those spindle fibers to the chromatids. If chromosomes are not correctly attached to the spindle apparatus the metaphase checkpoint will stop the cell cycle and thus M checkpoint prevents prevent cells from incorrectly sorting their chromosomes during division. So as I told you the 
चेक पॉइंट इज वेरी नेसेसरी सो दैट देर विल बी करेक्ट सेग्रीगेशन प्रॉपर सेग्रीगेशन ऑफ द क्रोमोजोम्स ड्यूरिंग डिविजन इफ अंटिल एंड अनलेस अनलेस दो आर अटैच टू द क्रोमैटिड्स प्रॉपरली द सेग्रीगेशन विल नॉट टेक प्लेस प्रॉपरली एंड देर फोर दिस एम चेक पॉइंट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट हियर विच प्लेज अ वेरी वाइटल रोल इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द चेक पॉइंट्स द क्विक रिकैप ऑफ द चेक पॉइंट्स वी विल सी हियर द फर्स्ट चेक पॉइंट इज जी वन चेक पॉइंट विच इज विच इज द फर्स्ट चेक पॉइंट एंड विच एनशोर्स द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स एंड एंजाइम्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ डी एन ए नेक्स्ट इज जी टू चेक पॉइंट विच इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द और विच विल चेक वेदर द डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन इज टेकिंग इज टेकन प्लेस प्रॉपरली एंड द लास्ट वन इज मेटाफेज एम चेक पॉइंट विच विल चेक वेदर द स्पिडल फॉर्मेशन इज करेक्ट और नॉट एंड ऑल्सो इट्स अटैचमेंट टू द क्रोमैटिट्स इज प्रॉपर और नॉट सो दीज ऑल चेक पॉइंट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन अवर सेल साइकिल एंड दे विल चेक वेदर एवरीथिंग इज करेक्ट और नॉट दे विल गिव ग्रीन सिग्नल अदरवाइज इफ देर इज एनी रॉन्ग थिंग इज गोइंग ऑन देन दे विल स्टॉप एट दैट पॉइंट इट सेल्फ एंड द सेल साइकिल विल नॉट प्रोसीड फर्दर एंड देर फोर द सेल साइकिल आई दर इट विल बी इनहिबिटेड और स्टॉप्ड ऑल ऑफ ए सडन एंड देन द सेल विल आई दर एंटर इन टू द जी जीरो फेज इट विल करेक्ट ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स और अदरवाइज इफ इट इज नॉट इन द हैंड ऑफ ऑफ द सेल Uh, or cell is not able to correct all the problems all the uh, mistakes then the cell death will occur so that is the programmed cell death or we can also call it as the uh, apoptosis process so this is all about the checkpoints if you like this video please share and subscribe my channel thank you